Hello. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to create a random choice script in the GEC. Now this is similar to the way the magazine vendors work on the strip. Only I've found when I've done this, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So this can be a bit of an iffy one. But um, well, it works, but it just always chooses one of them. Anyway, we're going to begin by going to interior and Doc Mitchell's house because this is where I'm going to place thing. I'm going to do something similar to my last tutorial in that I'm going to place a terminal in here and when you activate the terminal it will randomly decide what item it gives you essentially. So we're just going to look up in the activators section activate it and I'm looking up console I'm just going to call it, give it a new ID, my console 01. I'm just going to click and drag it into Doc Mitchell's house. New SCN random script name random script. And now we're going to write short do once to make this only run once. And now we're going to write float random. I'm going to get begin on activate if in brackets do once equals zero we're going to set random to get random percent so what that does is it sets our our number random to a random number between one and a hundred so now we're going to go if random is less than 50 play it dot add item caps 001 100 else if random is oh hold on sorry random is less than 50 if random is greater than or equal to 50 player dot add item caps 001 200 end if set do once to one and if end. So what this will do is when you activate it, if do once equals zero, which it will be the first time, it will set random to I'm about to sneeze. It's gone. So it will set random to a random number between one and a hundred. And if random is any value less than fifty, the player will have one hundred bottle caps added. Otherwise, if random is greater than or equal to 50, the player will get 200 caps. Then it, I keep thinking I'm about to sneeze. Then it will set do once to 1, end if again, and end. And again, this will probably work better if there were three scenarios. So let's say we wanted three scenarios. So we'll go here. Uh, if, if it's 33, the player will get that many caps. If it's greater than or equal to 33 and random is less than 66 then we'll get that. Else if random is um, greater than or equal to 66 then yeah okay yeah 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 player dot add item caps 001 300 so yeah this works better the more scenarios you have so if random is below 33 you'll get 100 caps if it is greater than or equal to 33 and below 66 you'll get 200 caps but if it is what have I done here if it is 
greater than or equal to 66, you'll get 300 caps. Then that ends that, sets do once to one, ends that, and the whole script ends. And this will only run once. And I haven't made any mistakes, which is not, not what I expected. Anyway, so now you want to click on your console that you want to do this, and search for your script that we just wrote. Hit OK, and OK. And that is done, and remember to save your mod, which I'm not going to bother to do, because I, I don't keep these. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's this is, just, this is something I've been experimenting with, and it's worked okay when I've done it. But, you know, it's... Um, you can tweak it, change it, it doesn't have to be a console that you activate. That script could run as soon as you begin the game, and randomly generate an object. You know, you could, you could really do anything with it. It's just essentially understanding what it all does. Um, Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope it works when you try it. Um, goodbye.